Hi everyone, this is TP-Link Archer Air R5 and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Wi-Fi network on this router and how to manage its settings from smartphone and computer. Let's get into it right now. First, why did they name it Air Rotor? Don't let this Air word to confuse you because this is just a marketing name. They call it Air for its compactness, for cool minimalistic design and because you can hang it vertically on the wall or horizontally uh, on the ceiling. They even provide you with hardware necessary for mounting like this and even a small level. But this is still another rotor without any superpowers. It can provide you with internet without connections. So uh, first you need to connect it to your internet source. To do this use an Ethernet cable from the box or maybe you need a longer one. So. Uh, purchase another Ethernet cable. Uh, the port on the right side is WAN and that's where you need to plug in the Ethernet cable to connect to your internet source. So plug it in right to the end and another end of this cable plug into the LAN output of, on your modem. Imagine this is my modem. So you need to connect the devices like this and make sure your modem has the internet access right now. If you don't have a modem, just plug in this cable uh, into LAN socket in your wall. Uh, it means your modem is just hidden somewhere in a technical room. So next you need to power on the rotor and they also provide you uh, with USB Type-C power adapter. If you need to use a longer cable, this is not detachable as you can see, uh, make sure your adapter is matching in voltage and resistance with this one or at least about the same. So let's power on the rotor, plug in USB Type-C, plug into a power outlet and let's look at the indicator. Now it's glowing solid and uh, in 15 seconds it's going to start blinking and you need to wait until it uh, starts uh, glowing solid again to begin setup. Well, now it's blinking, wait for the solid indicator and continue on your smartphone or computer. The easiest way to set up this router is TP-Link Tether application. You can get it from App Store or Google Play Store for Android devices. So download this app and let's open it. Accept the terms of use. The upper checkbox is optional. You can consider if you want to check it. Uh, to find devices on local networks. This is necessary permission. So you have to tap allow to be able to set up your router. And then tap I've already given local network permission. And if that pop-up didn't show up for you, you need to go to settings, find Tether app, and make sure that local network is enabled. Then go back to Tether application and tap that link. Uh, also to use TP-Link Tether application, you have to log into your TP-Link account or create one if you don't have. Let me skip the step of account creation. Create it yourself if, if you don't have, it's very easy. Uh, I'm just logging into my account and Tether would like to send you notifications. This is not necessary, you can decline this and set up two-step verification later if you need. No device is found is because uh, the smartphone is not connected to TP-Link setup network. What we need to do now, add device, add a rotor, make sure LEDs are solid on like now and two options, enable camera and scan QR code on the product label or set up manually, which means you need to open your Wi-Fi settings and enter the network name and password of temporary network of your router. You can find all information on the product label over here. So here is your network name and password right above the barcode, or you can just enable camera and scan, which I prefer, allow access to camera and scan this QR code. And now allow to join to this network and setup is going on. So once your device is found, tap on set up this device, connect the router to your modem, already done, restart your modem, do this and hit modem is restarted. And now set device password. This is not your Wi-Fi password. This is password you will use to manage device from web interfaces and computers and from uh, other smartphones. So uh, let's set a password. 
they force you to enter at least one capital letter and one number in this password so do this make sure the passwords are matching uh, i believe you will create a stronger password than in this example this is just to save time uh, then hit next Uh, now select your internet connection type. In most cases, this is dynamic IP, but if you are not sure, uh, you need to contact your ISP and ask about your internet connection type, select it here. Uh, the MAC address, just leave it default, do not change anything there. Then hit next. And finally, let's set up the network name and password. Let it be TP-Link Air for this example. You can choose any name and any password. Once again, I recommend you a stronger password when, than in this example. At least eight symbols. Hit next. I don't want to save this password and keep your router updated. I recommend you to set update time when you're sleeping or not at home or just not active and enable auto update. Uh, this is your summary device password. Write it down because this password is more important than your Wi-Fi password. Uh, you can use this password to manage your device and change this one, not vice versa. So this is more important. Internet connection type, network name and password. So apply this and just wait for connection to be established. Now uh, Tether application wants to join your new network. So allow this now it's logging in to archer air 5 it's logging into your router so that you will be able to manage it from your smartphone and you're all set uh, it taken five minutes together with my explanation so normally it's even faster so this is the home screen of your router's interface and the most important settings are organized in tiles on the home screen on the network tab. So here you can see network status, see your IP address, your um, MAC address, device name. By the way, you can rename your device over here. Uh, in this tab, you can see some reports, but no weekly reports yet. Explore this feature later. Uh, let's rate app later. if if you want uh, clients here you can see who is connected to your network block and un unblock users from here and you can set up guest network if you don't want to share your Wi-Fi name and password with your visitors if you switch to more tab you can see Wi-Fi settings over here and you can rename your network and set a different password uh, also you can set quality of service so limit or prioritize specific devices or services in your network and some more settings so explore this application it's pretty cool and very functional uh, and uh, now let me show you how to enter the web interface of your router from a computer to do this, you need to connect your computer to your router's Wi-Fi network and then open any web browser. And in the search bar, type in your router's IP address. You just have seen it in the application. Uh, and anyway, by default, for any TP-Link router, the default IP address looks like this. So enter this value in the search bar, hit enter key on your keyboard, and it takes you to login page. You need to enter your password you've just created and log in as administrator. So only one device can log in at a time. So we'll, you will be logged out on your smartphone. Log in. I don't want to save this password. It seems I need to enter it one more, more time. So this is your rotors web interface and here you have even more settings than in application and right away you're suggested to update your rotor but let's save time for this video uh, if you see update button just use the latest firmware it's it's recommended so here you have also wireless settings uh, internet settings as before advanced settings 
a lot of them so i won't walk you through all the settings i just want to tell you that when you enter in uh, the web interface for the first time from the router setup network uh, instead of login page it takes you to quick setup menu and you're going to have the same dialogue as an application so you can also set up your router from a computer and after this you can uh, enter this interface to uh, manage your router like this and that's how it works i hope this was helpful if yes consider to subscribe to our channel hit the like button to support us any questions comment below and see you in the next videos be awesome bye guys